Excel gives us multiple options for visually displaying our data. Let me show you the first of two special bar charts. This one called a stacked bar chart in Microsoft Excel. For this example, we're going to be using the Dog Toys data set, which is on the first tab of the Visualizing Variables Week 4 Excel spreadsheet. That is available in class and also through a link in the description for this video. Let's take a look at this data set, and then I'll show you how to create the stacked bar chart. This is the full data set on tab 1. For our stacked bar chart, we're going to be using the stacked bar tab. You'll note that we also have the ending point. This is what it will look like when we get finished. That is the second or secondary tab. Let's go back to stacked bar chart and we'll enlarge this to make it a little easier to see. Now, anytime we're using a binned categorical variable, as we will be for this stacked bar chart, we need to use a pivot table in Excel as our starting point. Let's do that now. So here we have our three variables that we're going to be using. Here is days to fail. That's our continuous variable. That's the one that is going to need to be binned. I can click on any data point here and then go to the insert tab where I will find pivot table. Clicking on the pivot table, first of all, asks me to confirm the range for the data. It runs from A1 to C51. That is correct. And where do I want to place this pivot table? I want to keep it in my existing worksheet. I'd like to put it right there, F3, one below the name of the chart itself. Having done that, I can click OK. Now, this is where the table will reside, but we need to let Excel know what variables we are interested in using. We're going to start by dragging days to fail into the rows column. You'll notice this is a different order than we've done for previous examples. That means we're going to put dog breed into the columns. And as we have done so many times, let's take that random identifier, dog, Drop that down into the values column, and we are going to need to make some changes. First of all, let's click on this information icon. And instead of sum, we're going to summarize by count. We also want to show the data as percentages. So we're going to change from no calculation to percent of row total. And now we can click OK. We can see that the row labels here for 1 to 5 and 6 to 10 have already been binned, turned into categories. If that is not the case for your data set, use a right click or control click and the group function to have groupings that start at 1, end at 20, and are grouped by fives. The pivot table is the first step to creating a stacked bar chart. The research question that we're going to be able to answer with this stacked bar chart, what are the percentages of days to fail for each breed of dog? We will create our stacked bar chart by first of all clicking on any data point inside of this pivot table, and then we're going to go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, and among the options for the columns, in 2D column we want to choose stacked column. Obviously, this stacked bar chart could use a little bit of editing to get it into APA style. Let's begin by changing the colors in this stacked bar chart. So the first thing that I want to do is move this bar chart down just a little bit, put it right there. Now I need to change these colors by first of all clicking in the bar chart. I'm going to go to the Design tab. Among the design options, we have Change Colors. We can change to any of these other available color schemes, none of which really suit our purposes. We want something monochromatic. I could choose a gray scale, or in this example, let me just go with a monochromatic blue. How can I use this stacked bar chart to answer my research question? I want to know about the percentages of days to failure based on dog breed. What I can see is that in the category for one to five days, of fail, days to failure, we see that the biggest bar is for the chihuahuas. 
90% of this bar is chihuahuas, meaning they are chewing up those toys pretty quickly. We see chihuahuas also represented here with 30%, and that pretty well describes the entirety. Uh, most of these toys are getting chewed up very quickly. Now, these lighter, lighter blue bars uh, are the, uh, the retrievers, and we see that they are represented in the 16 to 20 category, meaning that the retrievers are keeping their toys longer. They have a soft mouth. They're not chewing up the toys. Most of them are keeping their toys for 11 to 20 days. This stacked bar chart shows me that there are some breeds of dogs that are chewing up their toys more quickly than others. Now I'm learning a little bit about these breeds and how long their toys last. But this is the first of two examples of these special bar charts that we have in Microsoft Excel. The next one is called a side-by-side -side bar chart. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in our next video.